Hello and welcome to Credit Matters TV, a show highlighting Standard & Poor's analysis and global perspective on the latest credit market developments. I'm Jeff Sexton for Standard & Poor's Financial Institutions Ratings. Today I'm joined by Sridhar Manyam, Director in Standard & Poor's Insurance Ratings. We'll be discussing the National Association of Insurance Commissioners, ORSA's proposal, and what they mean for insurers and their ARM practices. Sridhar, welcome and thank you for joining us. Thank you very much, Jeff. I'm very glad to be here. So Sridhar, let's start off by defining what the NAIC is and what the ORSA proposal is. Okay. The first, I want to step back. So the NAIC stands for National Association of Insurance Commissioners. It is an organization that uh, comprises of the 50 United States, Washington, D.C., and uh, the five U.S. territories. So the NAIC has, uh, the, it is the state regulator's responsibility to ensure that the uh, interests of the policyholder is protected, and the NAIC helps the state regulators do this. And the NAIC has recently launched an initiative called the Solvency Modernization Initiative, which essentially takes a step back and says, hey, how can we enhance the current regulatory framework with respect to things like uh, group supervision, reinsurance requirements, capital requirements, and risk management. And uh, part of the SMI, or the Solvency Modernization Initiative, is the ORSA, which stands for Own Risk and Solvency Assessment, which, asks, which requires insurers to document their ERM frameworks and their view of their economic capital adequacy and ERM. Um, so, when you're talking about the NAIC and this proposal, the ORSA proposal, what is it actually saying about the different regulatory regimes? Oh, there's plenty of activity going, uh, going around uh, at, uh, at this particular time. Regulators from all over the world are embarking on similar kind of initiatives to NAIC. The biggest one, of course, you may have heard is the Solvent C2 initiative that is going on in Europe scheduled to be implemented in January 1, 2013, so not much time there, and the insurers, are, insurers in Europe are gearing up for it. And uh, the Solvency II essentially has, uh, it uh, consists of three pillars. The pillar one is uh, re related to the quantitative requirements. Pillar two of the Solvency is very similar to the ORSA requirement that the NAIC has proposed. And uh, elsewhere in the world, uh, regulators across Canada, Bermuda, which is, a, uh, which is a hotbed of activity for insurance, they're all looking at implementing very similar frameworks, and it is good because as these regulatory re regimes converge, insurers don't have to customize uh, their risk management frameworks to please every single regulatory authority, and hopefully they can have one uh, framework that fits everybody. So, Sridhar, with that, can you give sta a Standard & Poor's view of the ORSA proposal? That's a good question, Jeff. First, uh, let me take a step back and see and tell you why is S&P commenting on this article right now. Since 2005, as you know, S&P has incorporated enterprise risk management as a criteria in evaluating uh, insurance companies' financial strength ratings. And uh, obviously, as an interested party, we are following developments at the NAIC very closely. And as we looked at the ORSA proposals, we saw a number of similarities between the S&P's ERM criteria and what the ORSA proposal and other parts of the Solvency Modernization Initiative has. One of the key similarities that we see is that the ORSA proposal requires the insurer's board and senior management to understand their ERM frameworks better, and uh, it is essentially the same kind of tone that we have. We believe that the tone for ERM has to be set at the top, mm -hmm. and we want to make sure that the insurance company's board and senior management understand the ERM elements and how business decisions are consistent with the risk appetite of the, uh, of the organization. So that's a key similarity. One key difference I would like to point out is that both of us are coming from different perspectives. Our uh, S&P is trying to assess the insurance company's financial strength ratings, which is a relative opinion of the creditworthiness of the financial company, whereas uh, uh, NAIC is trying to protect the U.S. regulatory mission, which is to protect the policyholders first and foremost. So there's a little bit of similarities and differences because of uh, the perspectives involved. Interesting. Now, with that, what will the ORSA proposal mean going forward for insurers and their ERM practices? 
Well, I think uh, insurers uh, will benefit a lot from uh, ORSA in terms of the fact that uh, if the insurers, has not, insurers have not invested in their ERM frameworks, this proposal gives them an opportunity. And based on our experience, just the process of investing in enterprise risk management, investing in risk models, developing the risk models can give the man uh, management a better understanding of their own risk profile. And it also, when they document these results and present it to external stakeholders, external stakeholders like regulators, uh, uh, investors, can understand the risk profile of that particular company a lot better. And hopefully, like I mentioned, since the regulatory regimes are converging, hopefully insurers won't have to do the same thing in multiple ways and present it to, uh, present it to different regulators. And that is uh, one thing that we would hope that would happen over the course of time. And uh, one, uh, one element that we saw in the ORSA proposal was that the NAIC requires legal entities to do the reporting, whereas uh, at SNP we believe that uh, enterprise risk management is all about the enterprise and not the legal entities. Mm -hmm. It is about risk management being consistently and appropriately practiced across the whole enterprise. Excellent. Very informative. With that, Sridhar, I'd like to thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Jeff. And from all of us here at Standard & Poor's, thank you and take care.